Sunglasses are a staple of every wardrobe. They can make any outfit into a work of art. But how do you know which is the best to complete your masterpiece? Hi, I'm Caitlin, and today I'm going to give you all the info you need to choose the perfect set of shades for you. When picking your sunglasses, the first thing you want to think about is UV protection. There are two types of UV rays to be aware of, UVB and UVA. UVB protection is extremely intense and hazardous to your eyes. UVA is much less intense, but way more common. The recommended standards for UV protection are at least 60% UVA and at least 70% UVB protection. Most sunglasses offer UV protection, and don't worry, the lens tint you choose won't actually affect the strength of the UV protection itself. So feel free to pick whatever style you want as long as it has UV protection. Once you've got UV protection taken care of, you'll want to decide on which type of lens you want. Do you want a polarized lens? Photochromic? Interchangeable lenses? Polarized lenses block light rays that would normally enter your eyes after reflecting off of different surfaces. The light that ends up entering your eyes after passing through the polarized lens is already filtered, which means you'll see less glare and have less eye strain. These are great for water sports or if your eyes are really sensitive to glare. Then we have photochromic lenses. These adjust to changing light intensities and conditions. They'll get darker on brighter days and lighter on darker days. A couple things to note with these are the photochromic process takes longer to work in cold conditions and it won't work at all while driving a car because UVB rays don't go through your windshield. Or you could go the interchangeable lens route, which will allow you to choose different tints and coatings depending on the look you're going for that day. Talk about a fashion icon. Now let's get to the fun stuff, style. Let's start with frame shape. There are a ton of different shapes you can choose from. You've got your basic shapes like oval, rectangular, round, and square, or you can opt for a more off the wall shape like octagonal. There are your popular styles like aviator or wayfarer, or if you feel like making a statement, choose something like the butterfly, cat eye, clubmaster, or shield styles. You can get rimless sunglasses or semi-rimless sunglasses, or even find wrap sunglasses for full face coverage. Next up is frame material. Different materials will have different functions, styles, and price ranges. Acetate is a plastic, but is a bit different than standard plastic. They're made stronger, more flexible, and lighter, and come in a ton of colors and textures. The color is embedded into the material with acetate, so it tends to stay on well and not fade. Aluminum frames are lightweight and highly corrosion resistant. You'll typically find aluminum frames on your high-end brands. Metal frames usually run a bit more expensive and tend to be less durable, and definitely are not suited for action sportswear. Nylon, on the other hand, is great for sports. It's resistant to temperature fluctuations and is able to stay flexible while still retaining stiffness. It's less expensive, lightweight, yet strong. Then you've got your basic plastic frames. There are a ton of different types of plastic you can use to make sunglasses, like acrylic and polyurethane. Plastic frames are usually the cheapest and come in a variety of colors. Titanium is lightweight, durable, and scratch resistant, which is great for sunglasses. It's also hypoallergenic, which is a huge plus. Titanium is usually found in higher end sunglasses, which means it's likely more expensive. Now that we've got our frames picked out, let's choose a lens. First, we have to pick our lens material. You can choose from glass, plastic, or polycarbonate. With glass lenses, you get better optical clarity that gives you no distortion. Glass lenses are extremely durable and scratch resistant, but they are heavier and usually more expensive. One safety note on glass lenses. If they do get impacted from something, they may spider. They probably won't chip or break, but definitely keep that in mind, especially if you're getting sports sunglasses. Plastic lenses are lightweight and impact resistant. They're extremely comfortable and durable and also affordable. Polycarbonate lenses are even thinner, lighter, and more durable than standard plastic lenses. If you're someone who moves around a lot in your sunglasses, polycarbonate could be a good option for you. The one downside is they are a slightly lower level of scratch resistant, so keep that in mind. Picking color or tint is my favorite part of choosing sunglasses. You've got your dark colors, like green, brown, and gray. These are great for outdoor activities. Green and gray cut down on light intensity without distorting colors. Brown enhances the quality of light and increases contrast and depth perception, but you will get some color distortion. Light colors like yellow, gold, amber, rose, or vermilion are perfect for moderate to low level light conditions. 
If you're doing any snow related sports, go with a light color. They provide excellent depth perception and enhance contrast in flat light conditions. Your blues and purples don't have much functional value, but they do make you look good, so that's a fair trade, right? The more expensive the sunglasses, the more likely they are to have several layers of coatings. Some common lens coatings are hydrophobic coating to repel water, anti-scratch coating to improve durability, and anti-fog coating for humid conditions or high energy activities. You can also get mirrored or flash coating. This has a reflective film applied to the outside of the lens that reduces glare by reflecting the light that hits the lens surface. Mirrored coatings make things look darker than they are, so I suggest a lighter tint to even this out if you go with mirrored coating. Some quick fit tips when picking your sunglasses. The frame should fit snugly on your nose and ears, but not pinch or rub. The weight of the sunglasses should be evenly distributed between your ears and nose, and your eyelashes should not contact the lens. If you have any other questions about picking sunglasses or the ones we sell here at APT, please reach out to us by phone, email, or chat with one of our experts online. We are always happy to help. So, which ones do you have your sights set on? I'll see you next time.